Next tonight, a London hospital has become the first in the UK to use a pioneering new device to remove kidney stones. Doctors say it's quicker, cheaper and less painful for patients. Piers Hopkirk reports from the Royal London Hospital. It's a piece of groundbreaking micro-technology that perhaps seems more at home in a James Bond novel than in an operating theatre. Needle, please. The surgeon here is using a tiny flexible microscope just a millimetre in diameter fitted with a laser. You see it's fairly flexible, it's very thin and you will be sure you can get with it. It's a pioneering new procedure which could transform the way kidney stone operations are carried out. Yeah, now the kidney comes up. Kidney stones are caused when the waste products in the blood form crystals that collect can into stones. Okay, so the kidney now. The operation sees the so-called endoscope fed into the kidneys via a tiny incision. It sends back a picture for the surgeon to study. There's the stone. There. OK. Once the stones are found, they're blasted with a laser and broken up into fragments. At that size, they can then be sucked up using the same device. It's hoped this new kind of microsurgery will have a dramatic impact on recovery times, meaning patients like this could be in and out of hospital in just a day. Dr Janak Desai is the new device's creator. He says it makes the procedure much cheaper and less invasive. The patient, uh, number one, will not stay in the hospital for a long time, so they will bounce back to work for gainful employment again. So that would be number one. Number two, the pain will be much lesser. That would be another advantage to the patient. The scar will be almost invisible from a distance of five feet. You will not know from where you entered. So these would be the advantages. Kidney stones affect around two in a thousand people each year. For the NHS, this procedure potentially means major savings. The disposable instruments used are much cheaper and patients are less likely to take up a hospital bed to recover. It looked a, bit, a little bit like a video game at times. <laughs> how, how successful was it? Uh, this one was very successful. Um, you saw we got the patient in under an hour, completely stone free. So I think this was good for me and the patient. The procedure is being trialled here at the Royal London, but it's hoped it could be rolled out worldwide. Piers Hopkirk, ITV News. White